Hey guys, today's video is going to help you get a higher elbow recovery and reach in freestyle. I'm going to be showing you three different drills that will help you rotate more, get a better catch out in front, and lengthen your stroke so you aren't taking as many strokes per length. For these drills, I'm going to be using a snorkel and flippers to help me balance. If you're more advanced, the flippers are just an option, but I highly recommend using a snorkel no matter your swimming level because it can be harder to focus on the drills while breathing. The first drill is the finger drag drill. For this drill, make sure to drag only the tips of your fingers. If your fingers or hand are too low, you'll create too much resistance against the water, which will make it more difficult to work on a high elbow recovery. This drill helps you to not swing your hand up too high on the recovery. You should keep your hand low and relaxed below your elbow. Next is the zipper drill. This drill reinforces a high elbow recovery by dragging your thumb up the side of your body and past your armpit. Make sure your thumb feels like you're pulling up a zipper that's along your body. This helps you get your elbow higher instead of swinging your arm out too wide. In my opinion, this drill is the one that reinforces rotating the most. So again, make sure you keep a steady kick and hip rotation to help balance you without wiggling side to side. Last, we're going to do the shark fin drill. For this drill, you'll be touching the side of your cap, ear, or goggle strap with the tip of your first finger. Like the other drills, make sure you're kicking enough and rotating your hips during the drill. With a high elbow recovery, keep your hand close to your head and lightly touch the side of your finger, then recover forward into the beginning of the stroke. This drill helps keep your stroke in line, pointing where you want to go down the pool, instead of entering too wide or crossing in the front. After you work on these drills, try regular freestyle again. Make sure you have a steady, fast kick, strong core, and rotate your hips to prevent wiggling. Remember to have a high elbow recovery and hand near your head. When you enter the water, you should create a line from your shoulders to your hand going straight down the pool. Look closely at my shoulders and hand entry and you'll see what I mean. Let me know in the comments if these drills help you freestyle. Try counting your strokes per length before and after these drills and see if your stroke count improves. Please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more. Bye!